The marketing for this is partly the most absurd thing you've ever seen and partly exactly what you'd expect from the brother of a drug lord. Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to my hair. Today we have just the strangest thing that I've probably ever made a video on in my over 200 videos on YouTube. Like I don't mean to hype this up but this is just the most bizarre thing I've probably seen on the internet. I don't care if you're not interested in tech or phones or folding phones, whatever it is, you are interested in this. Pablo Escobar, yes, that Pablo Escobar, the drug lord, has a smartphone. Like Escobar Inc. released the Escobar Fold 1. Now, before we jump into that, we are going to set the scene a little bit, but I just hope you understand that this is not just a phone named after Pablo Escobar. This is made by Escobar Inc. I mean, Pablo himself died in 93, but this is now his brother's company. The brother of the drug lord, Pablo Escobar, has released a phone in his brother's name. We're going to get to it. Just stick with me here. This story is just so interesting. I don't know if you guys keep up with tech news. I'm going to assume just for the sake of explanation that you don't. But a little while ago, Motorola announced that the Razer is back. And here we have a folding phone that folds up into the the Razer, like the OG flip phone. Like everyone had one of these and it is very cool. And if you don't believe me, then you're just objectively wrong. I retweeted, do you ever just wish you had one and a half thousand dollars for something you definitely do not need? How does this connect to the Pablo phone? <laughs> well, keep, keep in mind, one and a half thousand dollars. That is actually cheaper than the other folding phone that you can buy at the moment, the Galaxy Fold. Everybody's going on about it. This thing is $3,000. I don't know how much it is in the US, but like $3,000 for a phone that folds in half. That is the current climate for folding phones. Sure, fine, cool. But I hear two of you in the back pointing out, join in, you're just wrong. There's another folding phone you can buy that came out before the Samsung Galaxy Fold. It's called the Royal Flex Pie. And like, no, no, it doesn't count because no one in their right mind is buying the Royal Flex Pie. Have you seen this thing? This Royal Flex Pie folds, folds in two. It's another folding phone, but uh, I guess what they don't really show you in these photos. Okay, there, there we go. It's really big. Like when you fold it down, it's like this fat thing. You can't possibly really fit that. In a, in a normal sized pocket. The reviews were resoundingly negative. All right, now that we've had our little folding phone introduction and you are acquainted with not only the world of folding phones and where we're at at the moment, but also the, the FlexPi, the first terrible yet folding phone. Now, when we pull up the Escobar Fold and sort through these photos, what, what do you see here when you look at these photos? I'm just gonna come out and say it, that is a golden flex pie. That is the royal flex pie, but it's gold. That's the, that's the difference. I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at this. That's a photo of the flex pie. That's the, it's the same photo. It's the same phone, okay? Clearly the stock has been bought out by none other than the drug lord, Pablo Escobar, his brother. Paint it gold, call it the Escobar fold and knock him off for $349. <laughs> but moving on from the tech side of things, if that somehow doesn't tickle your, your fancy, maybe women in lingerie do. The marketing for this is partly the most absurd thing you've ever seen and partly exactly what you'd expect from the brother of a drug lord. Look at this. You've got the phone here on the website and the first three photos are just of women in lingerie. And you're just gonna have to believe me. I mean, I'm gonna blur it out a little bit. You can barely see the phone. One of the world's first foldable smartphones. The official Escobar Fold 1 smartphone is always ready to fold. Imagine a reality where you can at ease fold your phone into a tablet. This is now possible thanks to the Escobar Fold 1. So then they've got like a few videos here to show off the phone. Let me show you the ad here. I honestly don't even know how much of it I can show you, but just have a look at this. That's the ad. That's the whole thing. Could you even see the phone? 
Well, they didn't even show the front of it. It's just a bunch of women walking around in their bras and undies holding this, this golden phone with Pablo Escobar's name on it. Like, am I living in a simulation? But if you thought that was weird enough, it still gets weirder. Apple boy Steve once looked into space. He saw Pablo Escobar with a phone beyond anybody's imagination. By the past and the future, true power in your hands. Ready to fold, ready to become you. The Pablo Escobar phone one. Like, what are these ads? Then we just have some random video of just the phone in action. Shot on a potato. This isn't even an ad. And you can see here that the that the that the default wallpaper on the phone is just Pablo Escobar's face. Cause what else would it be? Now, then the last video I've got to admit is probably the, the strangest take on advertising. Take your Pablo Escobar Fold 1 from a tablet and put it in your pocket. Simply fold it and you can view content from either side. At any moment, open it back up and it's ready to entertain you. Featuring stainless steel quality design for durability and stability. Imagine having the world times two. Imagine having the world times two. Then we have this shot, which I obviously can't show you, but I can describe it for you. Pretty much we have here a naked lady holding the phone. And by naked, I mean completely naked. She has these tiny strips of tape. I'm talking this thick, just going across her, 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 her nipple, but barely. Like I'm just being honest here. It doesn't really cover anything. You can actually still kind of see everything. I mean, this is, this is just, Porn. There's, no, there's no other way to describe it. We've got the name of the photographer here. We have the list of all of the models. Look, one of them was Miss Playboy Russia in 2017. Who even knows what these other ones are? I'm not about to Google it. We have Clint Morrison for the voiceover. Clint Morrison, just after a quick Google, he's done voiceovers for Harley Davidson, BMW, NFL, NASCAR, Family Guy, Suzuki, Hallmark. Uh, he's got a huge list here. We've got like Nissan political ads. And now I guess he can add to that Escobar Inc. The company owned by the drug lord Pablo Escobar's brother. The disclaimer here, I don't know if this is a normal disclaimer or not, but to me, this just sounds super strange. By purchasing this phone, the buyer is in agreement that Escobar Inc. will not be held liable for loss of property and or any losses caused by the use of the phone. But what does that mean? Like, I don't know. That might actually just be legal talk that's on anything when you buy it, but <laughs> like what loss of property? What's the phone gonna do? And then if you go into the uh, homepage of the website, you just have a whole lot more uh, naked women managing assets that belong to the family of Pablo Escobar with the goal of achieving high internal rate of returns. Roberto Escobar, creating and sustaining projects related to the family of Pablo Escobar under the leadership of Roberto de Jesus Escobar Javiria brother of Pablo Escobar. 1984, year that Escobar Inc. was created. 100 plus billion US dollars earned since establishment. <laughs> yeah, off the back of the most well-known drug trade in the world. Yikes, that's his brother. Escobar Inc. is a privately owned investment holding company owned by Pablo's brother. It was founded in 84. In 1992, Roberto surrenders to authorities amidst a crackdown of their enterprise. <laughs> Why have this on your website? In 1993, all projects were put on hold uh, when Pablo died. 2004, uh, Roberto is freed from prison based on excellent behavior. Good on you. Good on you, Roberto. 2016, Escobar Inc. begins to litigate its rights, including a high profile $1 billion claim against Netflix and Narcos Productions. Oh, like the show. Because of the show. They tried to sue Netflix for a billion dollars. In 2018, they launched a fork of Bitcoin, then signs a licensing deal in the legal marijuana field in Canada. Then January this year, Escobar Inc. launches the Impeach Trump Fund, a fundraising effort to remove 
President Donald Trump from office, which then gets shut down and censored after raising $10 million in 10 hours. Then in July, Escobar Inc. launches the original, official, and proprietary Escobar Inc. flamethrower, a $500 flamethrower produced by Flame Shooter LTD in London, UK, which sounds awfully a lot like Elon Musk's little stint, which they are currently in a dispute with Elon Musk over their proprietary technology. This just gets weirder and weirder. In November, a former employee was laid off and dismissed. No replacement was made. Why put that on your website? And then finally, December 2, just a few days ago, 26 years after Pablo's death, Escobar Inc. launches a revolutionary foldable smartphone, the Escobar Fold 1, available worldwide starting at only $349. All of that that I just read, this strange history is on the website, the same website where you buy the phone. So you kind of learn all about how all this money funding this project for the Escobar fold and all of it is entirely funded from Pablo's estate. This is drug money. <laughs> And yet, I so want one. The problem is that $349 after Australian tax gets added on, it would cost me like 600 bucks to buy this phone and I am in no position to financially afford that. I don't know, I just, don't know what else to say about this. It is just, to me, absolutely the strangest thing that I've ever talked about on the channel. And I hope you found it interesting. <laughs> hey, look, uh, Escobar Inc., if you want to send me the phone, please, please do. I'll review it. I will use it as my main phone. No matter how hard it is to fit in my pocket, I'll do it. Just send me the thing. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and uh, get some wholesome merch in the description below. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video, but now that it's done, please watch another one.